okay. Okay. Hi. Hey. I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tones. Tones. Today we're going to be doing the Johnny Depp book tag. Yo, I was a, I am a big Johnny Depp fan. Uh, he, he is an excellent actor. Yeah. He was beautiful. When I was in seventh grade, I would come home every night and watch Pirates of the Caribbean before my mom got home. Really? Yes. You want to know a secret? I've never seen any of those. I any? None any? of them. Mm -mm. No, sorry. I've seen like snippets, you know, but. Huh. No. Mm -mm. Well, I'm very shameful right now. I've lent out my labyrinth to her and now I'm going to lend out my Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean. After you lent out all your Harry Potter movies. <laughs> I watch Johnny Depp movies, but yeah. um, what's your favorite Johnny Depp movie? Mm -hmm. Not the Willy Wonka one. No, just because I don't like the remake. Yeah, it was okay. I but haven't seen Crybaby in like years. I haven't seen all of Crybaby. But I used to ever. love that movie. Yeah. Like before mm -hmm. high school, I remember watching it and I was like, I really like this movie. And they sing to each other when he's in the jail and she's. I want to see that's on Netflix. That's a good movie. I don't know. But I also do, of course, Edward Scissorhands. So. I yeah, I really like yeah. Edward Scissorhands. Me too, for sure. Okay. Okay. And Sweeney Todd. Oh, um, so... And Gilbert Great. Uh, we were tagged by the Restricted section oh, yeah. to do this tag. Uh-huh. So, thank, thank you. Thank you, Restricted section. Thank you. Uh, we will link their video below along with the original who was done by... Erica from Perks of Books. Yes. So, we will have both those videos linked down below. Y'all are cool. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go with the first one. Yes? Yes. You ready to be in? Yep. Johnny Depp portrayed Glenn as his first ever movie, Nightmare on Elm Street. What author's book did you enjoy so much that you read their entire book? Work. Entire work. None of them. Uh, yeah. Um, I've read- I, I've enjoyed authors, I just haven't read anyone's entire works, is all. I've read all of J.K. Rowling's stuff, yeah. but not, like, under her pseudonym, pen name, for her- I see what you're saying, yeah. Mm-hmm, I haven't read any of those at all. Um, and, um, I wanna- I wanna consume as much George R.R. R. Martin as I can. Yeah. And I want to consume some Neil Gaiman. Like, I'm interested in reading all of those works. I'm into those authors right now. Right. But I have not read the complete works yeah. of them. I haven't read any complete works of anyone either. So. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the Mad Hatter. Have I gone mad? I'm afraid so. Name a delightfully insane character. I went with... Reynold Patrick McMurphy. Oh, that's McMurphy perfect! From yeah. From One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He, yeah. Because he's not, like... Insane, but like he kind of is insane. <laughs> yeah. So if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. But I went with him because it's just I think he's so... Megan from the restricted section said him. Oh really? Yeah. Girl. <laughs> uh, I tried to think of someone else who was like just cheerfully insane. Yeah. And he was just the first per person that popped in my head, and I was like, all right, mm -hmm. Big Murphy. I like I like your answer better than mine because I went with Vasini. From yeah. who I love, but he's not like a happy guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he's he's funny to me. He's funny to watch. Yeah. What's the um, what's the line? Uh, never go against a Sicilian when death is on the line. Yeah. <laughs> Cry, baby. Christina's favorite Johnny Depp movie. I haven't seen it in like a real super long time though. What book features a bad boy with a heart of gold? Yeah, I had a few different answers for this one, but I ended up going with Jess from Heartless. I don't have it. I lent it out, but I kept the dust jacket, so. I went with Jess, because technically he plays a bad guy-ish. Okay. Uh, Jest. Jest. The court Jest. And, his and they name call him Jess. Jess, yeah. It's, uh, it's a retelling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I went with him. Uh huh. I don't really want to explain anymore, so. Don't. Me. All right. Um, <clears throat> one bad boy with a heart of gold that I enjoy the reading about was uh, <clears throat> Will Herondale. I thought about saying him too. 
Yeah. Because he's a bad oh, guy, the but there's a, a twist on that trope, which is a spoiler. So, yeah. um, no, it is. The reason why he's about acts the way he does. Yeah, but you didn't say like why though. You just said no. there was a twist. I think that's okay. You do. All right. I think that's okay. Anyway, Jace. E. No. Ah. What's his name? Will Her Will Herendale. Okay, next one. Sam from Benny and June. Have you seen that movie? Mm -mm. I've never heard of it. I haven't either. What book helped you get through a hard time? I said The Rope Trick by Lloyd Alexander. This is just a really cute, like, elementary school kind of read yeah. I got from our local bookseller for like a dollar. The hard time was after skimming and hating. <laughs> That's hilarious. False Memory <laughs> by Dean Koontz. I couldn't really think, I mean, I wanted to say something other than Harry Potter because, I mean, let's face it, we could say Harry Potter for everything. So, only other thing that kept popping in my head was, like, how much I hated reading. <laughs> Same win. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right. My glass is smaller than yours. I know, it is. Yeah, this is a really big glass. Look at it. <laughs> so, anyway, what I, what I thought was um, how I felt reading that book and how disappointed I was. Maybe and how I was memory? just like, yeah, so fed up. And yeah. I just wanted like a nice, sweet, cute, short little story. And this was it. And it helped me through that hard time of effing false memory. <laughs> I really like that answer. I don't have an answer for this, and I think the reason is is because um, I don't read reread books all the time a lot. Um, I only started doing that as an adult. I reread Harry Potter. I reread Twilight. I'm about to reread The Princess Bride. Yeah. Um, so I think just reading gets me through. If I'm having a hard time, just in general. Yeah, yeah. in general, I just want to to read and go there and I'm the same way like it's a nice escape so books That's thank you books answer. um yeah. I like your answer too it's funny thank you okay Willy Wonka Willy Wonka oh. that's from the retelling a book retelling that didn't quite meet your expectations I didn't really have an answer me neither I haven't I don't know if I've even read any well retellings. and I actually take that back because I didn't think about this until we did our conversation hearts video wicked yeah wicked Wicked. I read Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. I read that one and a couple other ones of his, and they weren't bad, but they were, like, I didn't love them. Yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't enjoy Wicked. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. I think I have it, like, three stars on my Goodreads, but yeah. it's been a long time since I've read that That's one. That's about what I would read it. Okay. Um, Edward Scissorhands. I've had a glass of wine. All right. <laughs> Misunderstood. Recommend a book you feel does not get the love it deserves. So this book actually, I <laughs> bought it for like 99 cents or $1.99. It just came out like September 2016, I want to say. You bought the Audible for 99 cents? Yeah, it was a special because it was like mm -hmm. a... I, I think, think like those. every so often when there's like a new book that comes out, you can like get it for really cheap on Audible. Cool. Yeah. You can need to forward me those. Uh, I could try and forward you this one. It was... No. You, no? Okay. So, <laughs> I said The Butterfly Garden um, by Dot Hutchin Hutchinson? Yeah. Hutchison? Hutchinson. Um, anyway, I that was the very first book I ever listened to on audio, and I really, really loved it. And um, it's basically about this you follow this girl's story of it her in a police station with two detectives and they're like tell us your story you know and then it flashes back to her telling her story about how she was held captive by this basically he's not like a serial killer because yeah actually he is okay so she lives in this like dome that's a garden but it's in a dome like legit like a glass dome uh -huh. and but she lives there with a bunch of other girls who are also like abducted and then he tattoos these huge butterfly wings on their backs but once they become of age he kills them and then he like formaldehydes well, them serial and stuff killer. yeah he formaldehydes them and then like hangs them up in display cases with their wings showing on their back and each one is like a different butterfly and he renames them you know and of course like he 
rapes them and stuff, which it doesn't go into like too much detail. When they're on dead that. or no, no. Usually they all say after he finishes the tattoo, the tattoo yeah. is when he gives them their new name and rapes them for the first time. Terry telling a story about how she ended up there and how she escaped because you it's not a spoiler because she's at the detective station you oh. know what i mean that sounds really good i told you it is it's really interesting the audio is a little by the way the audio version is a little oh, ridiculous yeah. it's this older guy narrating which is fine yeah but when it comes to her female voice and she's talking to the detectives he tries to imitate like a female voice and it's just absurd uh -huh. and it's just a little ridiculous but then it'll have a chapter of like her talking to the detectives but it's her going back and so like when it flashes back it's a female narrator why couldn't they just get the female narrator to narrate this or the whole minutes? thing right yeah if it's from her perspective yeah so it's a little you know but i, I still really enjoyed it i finished yeah. it in two days i think cool. so yeah, awesome. Uh, Ape House by Sarah Gruen is my answer. Um, she also wrote Water for Elephants. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was on my way to Barbados, and I was in the Miami airport, and I picked this up because I knew Sarah Gruen was awesome from reading Water for Elephants, and I wanted something to read on the plane. For some reason, I hadn't brought anything, so I was like, need some reading material. This is about um, a woman who works with bonobo apes. Yeah. Bonobos. Um, and they get stolen away from her, and they know sign language. All the apes get stolen from yeah. her? Yeah. They know sign language, and um, they get put on this reality television show, and they get really famous. And um, they're like, where's Belle? And they're like, signing, where's Belle? And her name is Isabel, that's what they yeah. call her. And um, she has to go try and save, their, save them, rescue them. Oh, was it, it was entertaining. I really... Um, Good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I've not heard anyone talk about this book on... Booktubal-y. So, cool. Ape House by Sarah Gruen. Ichabod Crane from Sleepy Hollow. Another movie I enjoyed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite uh, classic horror story? I have to be honest and say that I haven't read any classic horror stories like yeah. Frankenstein or Dracula or anything like that. Mm. Um, so. uh, Frankenstein or Dracula. I don't think... No, I haven't read those either, actually, interestingly enough. Um, but I do like some Stephen King. Ooh, yeah. And Stephen King... I didn't think about that. He is a classic. I mean... I mean, yeah. yeah. At this point, he's a classic. Yeah. Some of my favorites include Misery yeah. and Carrie. I did read a lot of his stuff in high school, and I liked his stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. But... Um, Have you read Misery? No, I haven't. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, oh, my other favorite one is Dolores Claiborne. I haven't read that my one. My mom either. owns... I think probably both. Anyway, Carrie, that's a good one. Uh, I watched it on Netflix, but I haven't seen the remake one. I watched the original one. Um, I haven't seen the original. I've seen the remake. I think the original was on Netflix. Or it was. Last year. I like me some Sissy Spacek. Okay. The woman who plays in the original. Gilbert Grape. Another good movie. Yeah, it is. A book where sadness and beauty play equal parts. Alright, um... I chose The Night Circus... It ends hap I mean, there's a a happy ending. Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah. But, um, to start out with, it's really <laughs> sad. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. So, and then the whole time they're like, they want to be together, but they can't be together. Mm -hmm. And that's sad, too. And, um... I wish you could think of another, like, a more sad... I could think of a more sad, but I don't ha own it. And that would be Burned by Ellen Hopkins. Ooh. Oh, I only have Impulse, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that one is sad. Impulse is sad, too. A lot of hers are, honestly. But, but I think this is so... I just... I love The Night Circus. Um, I picked Room. Room. By Emma Donahue. I... I used to own this, and I don't know what happened to it. I read it back in high school. It's um, about a girl who was kidnapped and is held in a basement, but she has a son. I believe it's a son. And it's basically about, like, they call it room, and, like, he just, like, she tries to make stuff for him to play with, what they have available and stuff like that, and then eventually 
she's like planning to try to escape and then it's following her and her story kind of and it's I mean if you've ever read it if you haven't you should definitely read it but if you've ever read it it is super sad but it's super like heartwarming like it's just I wish it's so beautiful it. but it is sad at the same time yeah it's like a really I heard they made a movie out of it and I haven't seen it I have heard that too that, oh that one's definitely in beauty and sadness yeah Victor Van Dort yeah Corpse Bride a book you'd like to see into a stop-motion film I said this answers on a similar question on one of our other tags I said tells the Beale of the Bard because I could just see it like totally yeah yeah you, it wasn't stop motion, but animated. Animated, yeah. And, and who cares if they make it stop motion? Yeah. <laughs> um, Hans Christian Andersen has had some um, great books retold, uh, great uh, his stories retold, um, namely The Little Mermaid, um, Frozen was The Snow Queen, um, The Snow Queen being one of his. And I would just love to see maybe another one of his stories retold in stop cool. motion. I haven't read every single one of these. The Little Match Girl they redid into a short story. Um, there's one, oh, and Thumbelisa, which is Thumbelina. Thumbelina. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's Thumbelisa in here. I loved Thumbelina as a kid. Yeah. I really did. Um, but Hans Clodhopper is one that I do remember where um, it's him and his two brothers are going to meet a princess and she says that she's going to marry the man who has the most to say for himself and the two men <laughs> the two um older brothers are uh, one knows like the latin dictionary and the other one knows the what the he can recite the newspapers from 10 years back forwards and backwards and um and then old Hans, Cla Hans Clodhopper comes along and he doesn't know anything. And um, he's like, they're, he's like, can I come? And they're like, no, you don't know anything. Yeah. And he's like, well, I'm coming anyway. And um, the his older brothers go off on horseback and he's like following them with a goat. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, hey guys, I'm coming with you. And they're like, whatever. <laughs> on a goat? A grown man on a goat. On a goat. <laughs> and then uh, he's like, um, he's on the trail and he finds like this dead uh, crow. And he's like, um, do you think that the princess will like this? <laughs> and they're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. So anyway, he ends up winning the princess's heart. Yeah. And, um,. I just thought that was really That weird. is really cool. And I think they could change it a little bit to like moder modernize the story. Right, yeah. Um, but yeah. That's a good answer. That's a really good answer. Cool. Yeah. What now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweeney, Sweeney, Sweeney Todd. Todd, thank you. <laughs> I love Sweeney Todd. I like that one too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sweeney Todd. A book with a concept you wouldn't think would work, but it pulls it off. <laughs> what, what about that one? The Great Gatsby! <laughs> what concept? Do it's just like this dude who goes to parties. Yeah. And fawns over this girl that's yeah. like married to this guy. Yeah. So he goes behind the guy's back and is like trying to get the girl, but he's just like throwing these parties. Like, it sounds like kind of boring, kind of yeah. lame. Yeah, it would. But it's not. No, so I like it. So it works. Yes. So, eh? Ed Wood. Do you know who Ed Wood is? Uh -uh. Okay. A book that is terrible, but you enjoyed it anyway. Oh. Oh, I got one. Um. I knew you were going to say that one. I knew. I was like, Jessica's going to pick Fifty Shades of Grey. It is kind of terrible. And um, there was like a lot of erotica that I didn't need. Um, and, but the second book, um, the erotica toned down a little bit. Yeah. And like it seemed to have more of a purpose. And um, I just started number three. Yeah. Thanks to Christina's sister, who let me borrow it. Um, and so yeah, kind of terrible. But also... It's really entertaining. I mean, why else would it have sold as many copies yeah. as it did? Yep. Valid point. It's entertaining. Uh, I, I think... 
didn't even spill. <laughs> I picked the boomer. Um, I don't. I think it really depends on your thought of what terrible is. As <laughs> you kind of thought it was terrible. I didn't think it was terrible. Okay, but I I enjoyed it. But I can definitely see how other people would be like, uh. Yeah. Because it's just like a super short story. It's very like non-descriptive about a guy who has it all and then ends up realizing that like he's not happy basically. But it's just like super short every single every single page. We are at 37 minutes. Oh. <laughs> no, that's all right, dude. Okay. Other ones we've had like 40 minutes, so that'll be like that. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have a lot of bloopers on this one. I can tell right now. So, um, I can definitely see why people might, I don't think, like, hardly anybody has ever read this to begin with. It was at the bookseller for, like, a dollar. Yeah. But I also just really like the illustrations in it. Cool, bro. So. Captain Jack Sparrow. The greatest book character ever! What's your favorite character ever? I don't know if I should tell you, though, because you're gonna be like, what, what? I told you, girl. Okay, tell me. Yes! Wesley from The Princess Bride. Yeah. Because it's true, his love is so deep and it's so true that he, you know, goes across a whole effing world to save his love of his life, who thinks he's dead, who is supposed to marry the prince, and he goes through all the stuff and he, I'm not gonna say, it's a spoiler, I guess. But yeah, he goes through so much for his true love, and I mean like, and he's funny, Yeah. and he's a smart mouth guy sometimes, and it cracks me up, and like, what more do you want in a guy? Come on, like, best character, man. Yeah, I'm so glad you loved him. I did. Hey. Hey. Hi. Okay. My favorite character is Jonathan Strange from Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Yeah. He is so sweet and in love with his wife and he's so passionate and um, talented and adorable. Yeah. I DNF'd. I listened to it on audio and yeah. I DNF'd the last nine hours. And there's like 30 hours total so you spent a lot of time invested. Yeah. I had like 23 hours listened and then like nine hours left mm -hmm. and... It pains me a little bit to DNF it. The book isn't for everyone. I loved it, and our friend Megan, the paperback artist, love it. But, it, like I said, it's not for everybody. And so if you read the book or you couldn't get through it or whatever, you should watch the TV show because the TV yeah. show is amazing. It's on Netflix. It's under the same title, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Mm -hmm. It was a BBC show. They did such a really, really good job. They did. It was really good. Yeah. We will also link the review and discussion video with Megan below so you can check that out. Um, let's tag some people. Yeah, we're going to tag four people. We're going to tag... G Swizzle. G Swizzle. We're gonna Sam. Uh, ta <laughs> We're gonna Sam. We're gonna tag Samantha from Leanne's Lit. We're also going to tag Pages and Pins. And what is a book? What is a book? I don't know. I don't either. It's a channel. That it is. And it's a new channel. Yeah, she's been um on for two months. Yeah. And she seems like a pretty cool chick. So, so we want to tag her and give her a chance to. Get out there a little bit. Yeah. So, well, of course, we'll link all those channels below as well, so you can check out any of them if you want. When you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. I'm Jess Game of Tomes on Twitter. And I'm Christina G.O.T. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Karen. Oh, Kareen. Korean. Korean. illustrations are really cool. nipples for a second. It's, this guy's eyeballs. It's pennies. Okay. That's what my nipples look like. <laughs> pennies? Nice copper pennies! You know we're stay-at-home moms. We're like, not the rhyme! It's ten in the morning! <sighs> I just need a midget to go around and hold my boobs up. And I don't, and I don't, and I don't care if that is your name. <gasps> Girl, you don't watch Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> Uh, I've seen some episodes and they were really good. And so I want to watch it. Do you want to cry? A lot? 
I don't know. Yes. Then watch it. Okay. Do you want to get like super emotionally invested into everything that happens? <coughs> yeah. Watch it. Okay. Do you want to cry every single episode they ever air? No. Well, you're gonna. <laughs> Um, I think this book came out... <laughs> what? Why are you laughing at me? I'm sorry. We've had some wine. We I did know. it! We did it! Yeah. We did it! Why don't Yay. you say it? 